Hi everyone, and this is the third quarterfinal of World Senior Championships Jimmy White versus Darren Morgan. So let's enjoy it. And it's Darren who gets this quarterfinal match underway. And uh, Jimmy playing return, and that's a good one. So, yeah, Mike, very interesting match this. Uh, as I say, you couldn't. Um, nowadays, both very similar players, they're very attacking. Yeah. Well, I always remember when I was an amateur, they used to have a, a very good amateur in the. That's quite an aggressive safety from Darren, opening up the reds, but he's not got the best of cue balls. Didn't get it tight to the ball cushion. Superb pot. Yeah, good shot, and it looked for a moment as though the black was available. First test passed. Because they do tend to get in the way of each other. As you can see by that shot, he's played a. a Well, not on the blue, which was his intended ball, but he's okay, he's got the yellow. So, with it being, well, it's been raining the last few days here in Sheffield, and that dampness has got into the arena, you know, he should be able to cope with as a seasoned professional, but it might just take a few shots just to get fully into the speed of it. Well, he's hampered, but uh, he'd be disappointed to have missed that. That was a decent effort from Darren. It was a tough shot, that. Again, with it being the first frame. And there's also proof how good Jimmy is with it. We know for a fact he's been very comfortable with it over the years. He got that, he's got that angle. He Sorry. got the angle. Well, that was absolutely perfect. Pardon what? I didn't see him being on that. From so he might have to take another one or possibly one in the centre. But that was an excellent shot on the the red. So that blue puts Jimmy 57 points in the lead. This red colour on one more red. <laughs> yeah, I remember them cues. Great big beef burger stuck on the end of it, the tip. And he wants to put all the balls if he can. Well, he'll be disappointed to have missed that. 68 points. Right. 
Darren purposely there, playing the red in off the other one so he could. Yeah, and call it too thick. It's not etiquette to uh, concede a frame when it's your opponent's turn. Where's the cue ball going? Okay. Yeah, he does. He looks good out there. I was uh, interested to learn as well that Jimmy's using his old cue in the 80s. The white band that you see on the butt part of the cue was very prominent and seen many a, a Jimmy White cue up and down the country. People having the white joint. So I would imagine that that is the cue he made his maximum here at the Crucible. I won the boys championship and it was the same cue I used all my career. Never changed it. And they taught me into lengthen it and I never felt it was the same cue again but uh, I was getting near the end of my career then but you know I used the same cue. 26. Well couldn't wish for a better start. Reduced his opponent to a spectator. Getting through the, the cue ball nicely. Not bothered about the black. And it's Jimmy White. Three visits where he scored nicely. And Dara Morgan only had one chance. And it was only a half chance. Jimmy White leads. 1-0. Got a red coming up the table. Has the brown come to his rescue? But as you said, Mike, the, the problem is that Darren came to the table cold, really. No, of course, he's played it at pace as well. Try and get the cue ball at the bottom left corner of the table because he knew if he missed it, it was quite a safe area, but... Meanwhile, excellent safety shot from Jimmy, but it shouldn't be too difficult, this. Coming round off two cushions, nestling into the back of the cluster. Judged it nicely. Use those two colours as blockers. That would have been Jimmy's intention, but caught that safety much too thick. This looks good. A good effort. Oh, what a super shot that is. Okay, he didn't get the length. Decided to try and hold for the the black. Wow. So first good chance for Darren Morgan. Sound is odd. He's trying to go for that or the pink. No. May just be at see enough of it. It's a decent shot, but he just threw his shoulder into that a little bit. Sixteen. He cued that better. That was a lot better shot. Well played. 21. Oh, 
22. Good shot. And as you can see, what's making this break a little bit difficult is the pink will only go in one pocket and the black's tied up, so... Now, this might be an opportunity to start getting the pink a little bit freed. So, of course, he'll take the pink now and then get that other red out of the way. Pink will be available into both corners after that red disappears. Cannon it was, and he's okay. He's got a choice of reds to the left middle. Played that with a lot of right hand side and played it beautifully. Good shot. Very well played. If he was to take all blacks with his remaining reds, there's a possible 1 3 5 rather than all blacks. 1,500 pounds for the highest break of the tournament, which he holds at the moment, 112. Double plant across the table is going to take some beating. 69. 55. Well, he's convinced himself it goes, but it shouldn't be a problem, you wouldn't have thought. Oh, nicely in. And I think the fact that he's concentrated on the blacks here, Mike, he's... Uh, Has done the, the world final before. 90. Just making sure the black had gone in the same place before he played back on it. Wonderful. So this time he's playing for the pink. Got a good line. And got a beautiful length. 109. Well, it's funny, isn't it, Mike? He said in his interview <laughs> with Rob Walker, he didn't think 112 would win it. It's ironic, I think. But looking at this, he's going to do it. 112. Well, that equals... 160 121 127 Middle pocket Yes! Fantastic! Bit of shoulder action there just to make certain it went in well that mistake from Jimmy White how costly was it and what a marvellous break from Darren Morgan a 1-3-4 highest break of the tournament and superb and it now levels the match one apiece yeah I remember fondly last year we did it was one of Dennis's Dennis played a great shot I think it was a deep screw on the blue I think Yeah, just the containing safety, no value in playing the pot because as you can see the black's not available. Only his best will do. Just right though, that red on left hand side of the table got to avoid the kiss on that. And didn't. Now the question is. Well, Darren was getting down as though the red closest to the cue ball. This red doesn't go, he's just playing safe a bit. Went to the right corner. It begs the question, Mike, if it went, why didn't he play it? Well, 
Well, he couldn't have hit it any thinner. In fact, it was much too thin. What he intended. And he certainly left her. Yeah, that one. That looked edgy. Just a little bit edgy. A little bit of shoulder and the grimace on Darren's face. I think he could. Ooh, but he's missed and he doesn't miss many with the rest. Just wants to keep the cue ball now as tight as possible. He doesn't want it. It's obviously a nervous thing, uh, Darren nominating the... Uh, No. That's why Darren's had to go up for the pink. He's okay though. That's why Darren would have been keen to have stayed on the black a little longer. He played that nicely and he's got the red to the right middle. And that's what happens when you're under a bit of pressure and not used to playing in these tense, shall we say, atmospheres. Once again, played it well, could have done 46. That was excellent. That was a very, very tough shot. It was harder than it looked. Oh, well, so easy, that and yet. 52. Jimmy White comes to the table 52 points behind. But still a possible 91 yeah. remaining. So plenty of points to play with. What happened there? Jimmy White, eight. eight. Where's this red ball going? Over the pocket. And he had, he had a huge amount of left hand side on the cue ball there. I don't know whether he focused deliberately on the on the pot and took his eye off the white, but. So Jimmy spotted a red here at the bottom of the cluster that goes, which is great if it goes because he wanted. He did. No. The only problem ball we see at the moment is the one near the left-hand side cushion, further up the table. Does this red just below the pink? It does. Great chance now. Well, he left himself a chance of the pot, but the, it was the shot to play position on the pink, which was the bad one. He was perfect on the red. One. That's one of the reds. After this pink, he's going to need another two reds. If, of course, he doesn't get that far. So this next shot is... It's key, needs a nice angle. Eight. So, deliberately playing for the one in the open because of course he doesn't want to move that other one off the cushion. He has to give Jimmy a chance. Cushion first. 
played it nicely. And he'll be nicely on the blue. The blue will go on its spot. Certainly going to help uh, hurt Darren a lot. This Jimmy will know that. It's tricky. Oh, but played it absolutely superb. Stunned right hand side, checked it off the cushion. I've got to say that yellow he's just played there was ridiculous. Two. Perfect on the blue. Twenty-three. Twenty-nine. Well, we're seeing lots of matches turning points. This is a massive frame. How Darren Morgan hasn't won it, I don't know. But he hasn't. And at third attempt, Jimmy White had a chance for the counter attack, and the third time lucky. And Jimmy White now leads by two frames to one. What a frame! Well, here's a little rhyme to remind you when breaking off whatever you do. One. And that's what's happened. That's gone wrong. Because it was, it was always going to get pushed into the pack, so at the pace he hit it, he was just closing the pack up. That's a good shot, though. Good shot. Yeah, nicely played. Yeah, and when you mentioned about that black that Darren potted there and could have played it with a bit more pace, opened a few more reds, maybe start this frame off a little bit tentative. Excellent safety from Jimmy. Good safety, force your opponent into a mistake. Because both players, when they get in amongst the balls with the black on the spot, look as though they can score. Too difficult. And of course, as we talk about Jimmy still playing on the main tour, that will have certainly sharpened up his safety game. The standard, as we keep saying, is as high as it's ever been. And it certainly does sharpen you up and Jimmy's played quite a lot of matches in the last few months whereas Darren hasn't so there you go oh well, well no hand up to apologize from Jimmy so did he spot that plant I certainly didn't I'm not sure if there was one on or not Anyway, he made it. Seven. And he's in. Nicely on the black. Good chance. Yeah, of course. This is going to be a huge frame as well for Jimmy because two frame advantage. Fifty. Of course, Jimmy. Ready. Knows how to read a, a pack of reds, when to go into them, what to play for. Well, he'll settle for that. Well, I was going to think he'd settle for it, but he must have had a little bit of... Mm, but if he's not on the pink, he's on nothing. Just playing safe. Mm, the last thing he wanted to do was to kiss the, the blue. No, just hit across it. Break building department, but the long ball game on both of them just isn't quite tuned in yet. And very good, very good. Yeah, 
well played again red in the center I think he possibly wanted the white a little bit higher to play one of the reds in the corner but he'll settle for that no. Well, that's not a bad kiss. Seven. Yeah, and as you can see, he wasn't quite where he wanted to be again, so it means he's had to go down the other end of the table, but he's okay. Just get the pink on the spot at some point. Four. If he doesn't get the cannon just right, he's playing with top spin. Not playing the cannon. Thought it was uh, too risky. He might not be on a red. But do not miss the pot. That's the important thing. Well, it's not bad, but. Unlucky, that was hard. Morgan, 49. Yeah, it was tough and. One. Needs a good angle. Well, he might just have landed absolutely perfect on this yellow. Just coming in behind it. Doesn't want to be nestling on the side cushion. That's good. And the fact he's going to have to use the rest. Five. But Sweetie hit it, and he's left a nice angle. Sometimes the snooker play you. Fifty. He definitely came up the white, and he's played the cheeky double to land on the brown. Eighty. Well, I think that was out of. And the brown struggles in. 27. The pink will put him seven points in front. Well, Darren Morgan must be thinking, what has he done again? In it goes. Well, that is unbelievable. When he lost position on the yellow, I thought, well, he wasn't going to clear up, but a tremendous double. And Jimmy White now leads. Darren Morgan, three frames to one. The, the scars, the battle scars that you carry. You know, you don't forget these things, and of course, the older you get, it is, it is more difficult, I found, to keep my body still. Things do start moving, and... You can't stop them. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You just get a bit anxious when you're playing and the pressure or the stress. I mean, you look at some of the things that golfers have to do to... Jimmy played that tentatively but always knew he had a good path back to the ball Ken and he's absolutely judged the inch perfect yeah, so he's deliberately head on the side of caution there and made sure he's hit it thick a fair play it's a decent white and once again it's either Jimmy or Darren. They are going at the pack quite heavy on these safety shots. Do you know what? I'm tempted to say this is a little bit within Jimmy's game plan because... Last two frames, I'm sure he thought he'd have lost. Yeah, it's hard to call anything at the moment. What? 
it's one of them things the players have got to contend with and you tune your game sometimes in a in a certain way wow he was that far out he left him a pot on well Darren will be very disappointed with that I may have to wait for now because he doesn't have to but Well, he'll do the yellow again. Now, if he's landed as good as angle as he did last time, he's got to play the cannon. Well, I can only assume, Mike, that he's now got the intention of just not taking Stop any him. undue risks here. He thinks he's got Darren where he wants him. Give me how you talk to yeah, they just haven't hit the balls a little bit harder than they need to, and it is making the pots a lot firmer. It's nobody's fault, and you could see there. I mean, he really has had to try and hit that hard. What? Don't think he's on anything. If he doesn't get the kiss, he could have taken it on. Taking it on, got it. Now he needs a good kiss on one of these reds. Yeah, that was a brave shot. Deserved a little bit of luck there if he got on one, and he did. early on in this frame he's just happy just to accumulate points he knows uh, Darren will have the scars of losing the last two frames which he should have won terrific pot in the frame of course that will book his place in the semi-final that's exactly what he's doing yeah he's, for me he's just took that little bit of an unnecessary risk scare and it, that could have gone horribly wrong well that's not a bad choice of shot but he sent a red up the table, which was totally unexpected. He played that safety to bring the pink and black into play. Point. Let's try and come around the angles. Can it just keep? You know, it just keeps landing awkward, doesn't it? Every time Jimmy seems to play a great shot, the next one he's. So he pots the pink, he goes 46 points in front, a red and a colour, I'm just working out, 46, pots this red and the pink, champion. I think Darren is going to come back to the table but maybe it's frustrating. That's the ball he needs to leave Darren needing a snooker, but only one snooker. Give me like 19. Jimmy's giving himself a good talking to up there, but I think it's uh, congratulating himself because he looked very happy. I'm sure Darren will look back and think I've lost two frames there there's no way in the memory of man I could have lost mm. so Jimmy's got to be thankful that he was given those opportunities and if you're still in it you can win it 
but it's been entertaining nevertheless. We've had everything you want. We've had a marvellous break of 134 from Darren Morgan. Let's not forget that one, Mike. We've had a few missed pots, a few frames being pulled out of the fire. Maybe now, though. Cue ball. Well, well that's turn, turn around, around and to touch of the now. elbows. Darren will be very disappointed. OK, he's still in line for the high break of the tournament, 134. But it's a defending champion who marches on. Jimmy White is in the semi-final. He beats Darren Morgan by four frames to one. Jimmy, any chance we can grab you over for a quick chat? Through to the semi-finals. Of course, in the old days, there'd be a standing ovation, but there we are. Such are, the, such are the times we live in. Well, Jimmy, a couple of frames that you might not have expected to have come your way there, but well done. You're back in the last four. The title defence is still on. Yeah, you know, I started off quite well. Then Darren got a really nice one, three, four. I was in the balls the second game, missed, lost momentum, and um, I stole a couple of frames. So 4-1 is a bit flattering for me, really. Uh, and what about that double green? Well, I hit the yellow so bad, you know, and uh, I'd come round and the green was perfect. Uh, if I'd missed the green with a double, I'd snooked in with a brown, but it went straight in, which was nice. Well, I think the guys backstage were saying that's potentially shot of the championship material. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Igor, what a match that's going to be. He, he's played brilliantly today. Yeah, Igor, you know, he's on the tour. So is Ken Doherty. Um, so, you know... Us players who are playing all the time should be the ones that get through, really. So, tough match. Looking forward to it. And how much would it mean to you to successfully defend this title, it's especially here? I know we haven't got a crowd, but there's still a majesty about this place, even when it's empty. Listen, since Rockets come on board, you know, and the World Seniors is getting bigger and bigger every year. And, uh, you know, if you win this tournament, you're getting a champion of champions. But it's getting more of a prestige tournament. And just to play at the Crucible is what we all dream about. So at our old age, getting here is great. Well, you're still going well, Jimmy. Get a good night's sleep and we'll see you for the semi-finals tomorrow. Many congratulations. Cheers, Rob. OK, so Jimmy White is through. There is one final place left in the last four. Don't go anywhere. We've got a fantastic match for you. It's David Lilly up against the darling of Dublin, Ken Doherty. Here's what they had to say before the big one. Wow, Jimmy White, he is the third one come to the semi-final tomorrow. And I can see that maybe he can get another title here but he got he have to pass he got Fioredo and I guess that if he can pass the semi-final and come to final he will meet against uh, sorry he will face against Ken Doherty and the last match today I bring you guys will be the match between Ken Doherty and David Lyle but in my opinion, Kendrick he played more stable and better than Riley. So, but let's go to that time to watch the last quarterfinal. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next match. Bye bye.